Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Standing in, Brian De La Cruz. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 2 1. Temperature at first pitch. There it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Got it, got it. The shortstop, body ball, Sierra. Into the box now, Anibal Sierra. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up, he'll go to second for one, and it's by him into right field. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. That is third. The Stepping second. in, Chucky Chuck Robinson. Robinson. Great chance Robinson. to drive in a run here in the early going. This one runs a little too far in, ball two. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And this is foul tip, so that runs the count full now at three and two. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. The first base the first Sliding base. into the box, J.J. Matajevic. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run, but he can't get to it, and this might clear the bases. A run in. Here's a second runner around third. He comes across to score as it's now a 2 0 ball game. That is it. The third base. Colton Shaver. Stepping in now, Colton Shaver. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Now at the plate, Corey Joyce. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick him up right here. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. And here now is Dustin Garno, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The set and the 1-1 pitch. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 2-1 home is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Has to challenge him now. Here's the pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Stepping up now, Osvaldo Duarte comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is taken for strike two. Matajevic, the runner at third. Shaver over at second. Garno is over at first with one away. Now that's popped up. Overstreet has room in foul territory. He's got it, and there are two down now. Ready now, Jake Myers. And a big hit here with the bases loaded could really put this one out of reach early on. The 1-1. One, one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. Oh. 
A one two pitch. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Settling in now, Ivan Castillo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1. Line towards center field. Myers is there and he has it for the first out. Stepping into the box, Rudy Heron. He's headless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. I know it's the first inning, but he better find his release point on that breaking stuff, or he's in for a long day. The 2 2 one more time. Is looked at, and the count moves full. Luis Camposano is on deck. Skied into straightaway right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Into the box now, Luis Camposano is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Hit hard down the line, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Line drive to left. But this is right to him in left as he hardly has to move as he handles it for the final out. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Brian De La Cruz. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ball taken there, two and one now. Here's the pitch. Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. So striding forward now, Anibal Sierra over one with a run scored thus far. The 1-1 one -one home is swung on and missed a good off speed pitch. The one two. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now the three and two pitch. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit down the third baseline. The second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So stepping in, Chucky Robinson. He drew a walk his first time up. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Here he comes again, one, two. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through. Yeah. The first baseman, number 23, J.J. Matajevic. Into the box, J.J. Matajevic. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Potts is there, and the side is retired.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Franchi Cordero. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Myers comes on now and he has it one down. Into the box, Kyle Overstreet, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Overstreet. Had a good cut there, but he can't time the breaking ball. That evens us at two and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Skied into straightaway right. De La Cruz is under this one. Two gone. At the plate, a step on Kiros. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now as this catches the outer half. And I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Pops this one up. In there, a base hit. The third base Standing in now, Hudson Potts popped up. Matajevic shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Colton Shaver. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Now back, left field, Corey Jolks. At the plate, Corey Jolks. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. On the stretch swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first out now back. so coming to the plate Dustin Garno the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion 3 2 count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four and he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. The batter. Coming to the plate now, Osvaldo Duarte. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, he's got to make an adjustment. You could tell this guy's been struggling with the bat in his hands. He's got a lot of frustration. He's gripping the bat too tight. He needs to relax, take a deep breath, and have a productive AB right here. Here's the 3 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Colway in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Ready for another chance. Jake now Myers. Back. Two on, two out good. for him here in the third. Myers. Two men are on with two men out. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. The 2 2 pitch. The short hit hard. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Ryan De La Cruz. So now to the plate, Brian De La Cruz. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Colway is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded.
bottom of the third now and standing in the outfielder Taylor Colway looking for the strikeout here's the one two hit out towards second and that's out number one now at the play Colin Moore first shot for him here two hits in five trips a night ago one 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 out, nobody on. He stays alive, still two and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Payoff pitch one more time. Now a swing and a fly ball. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Once again, a 3-2. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now at the plate, Von Castillo hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next day, bit. And this throw gets away from him. Digging in, Rudy Huron. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the 2 1 pitch. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Javi Guerra answers the call from Penn here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Ball set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Anibal Sierra. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Misses ball two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Another try at 2 2. Swing and a liner, but foul. Another one sent foul. The 2 2 one more time. And here's a ball hit in the air. Over street in foul ground, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 2 uh, 2. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Line towards center field. Cordero is right there, one down. Ready for another shot now. Chucky Robinson. He singled his last time up. 
Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. The pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One and two now. Here it comes. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Line to the right side. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. The first base hit, number 23, J.J. Matajevic. To the plate now, J.J. Matajevic comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Digging in once again, Colton Shaver. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one-two. Swing and a liner, but foul. The next one-two pitch. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Full count, three and two. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. Digging in now, Corey Jolks. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Two down, runners at first and second. Rounded down the third baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Now batting, the dedicated hitter, Justin Garneau. In now, Dustin Garno. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the stretch. Weak rounder back to the mound. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Digging in, Luis Camposano comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And that'll bring up Franchi Cordero. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1 2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Oh, and no time to get him at first, not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield now single. The first baseman, Kyle. At the plate now, Kyle Overstreet. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. One and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. From the belt, the pitch. Hard liner to center field. Myers is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, Esteban Kiros. He reached on a single in his first try. Runner on first with two away. Right three called, and the inning is over. A 
ball ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Osvaldo Duarte. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Right side. Reined in. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now that striding in, Jake Myers. Last time through was a base hit. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. The right unit, number 15. There's a look over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Into the box, Brian De La Cruz. Didn't get on top of the sinker at all. If that's what it was trying to be, it stayed high. Left side. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And set to go as the third baseman, Hudson Potts. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Taylor. Go away. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Nobody out, runner on first. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now at the plate, Colin Moore swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Devon Castillo waits on deck. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Devon Castillo, he's lined out and flied out in two plate appearances. The 2-1. This one misses and that will fill the count here three and two with two away good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion he could score all the way from first and that's outside he lost him ball four. Gabriel Valdez trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away Rudy Heron will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. To third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And stepping up as the shortstop, Anibal Sierra. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Well, that's off the plate. Hey. 
takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. Well, that blast serves notice that this kid is as good as the hype suggests. He has the tools and the desire to be a good one in the show. Can't wait to see how his career unfolds. At the plate, Chucky Robinson. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Hard hit to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Standing in, J.J. Matajevic. A hit and two tries for him so far. Set. Here's the 3-1. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Now Striding in once again, Colton Shaver. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and next to hit is the catcher, Luis Camposano. This is foul right side. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Franchi Cordero. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. The one two. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout and there are two away. At the plate, Kyle Overstreet. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And this one misses high for ball four and they have themselves a two out base runner. Into the box now, Esteban Quiros. He's working on a one for two game so far. Gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Hey, that's a well-executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left-handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting, the third baseman, Hudson. So now to the plate, Hudson Potts. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Myers is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Jordan Guerrero is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Jordan Guerrero. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next it'll be the outfielder, Corey Jolks. The 
one one home waves and misses for strike number two. Pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. One out, nobody on. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Three and one to him now. Now the pitch. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Now back. Now in the box, Osvaldo Duarte. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Slider gets him swinging to God. Now to the plate, Jake Myers. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The 1 1 home. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. For the traditional last half of the seventh here and that'll bring up the outfielder Taylor Colway starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally no offer on that one two balls and a strike Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Stepping in now, Colin Moore. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there on to first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. So the base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Von Castillo. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Brian De La Cruz is working on a one for three thus far. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Ready with the payoff pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. Now Digging in, Anibal Sierra. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 1 1. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that's in there. Base hit. Now Chucky. Into the box Robinson. now, Chucky Robinson. Hit on the ground to third. He's right there. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning.
Tommy DeJunis is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 25, Tommy. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the DH, Rudy Harone. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Three and two now. Hit hard to the right side, but foul, so we'll see if he can straighten that out. The three, two, one more time. On the ground to the left side. Oh, what a dive. How about that? Ready once again, Luis Camposano. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. A dive, but it'll get past him out in center. And this could roll till tomorrow. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. Now back, center fielder, Frankie Cordero. Standing in now, Franchi Cordero. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Oh, but it's <laughs> offline, so the run will score. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Overstreet. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Matt Ajevic is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Blake Rogers enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here comes the first baseman, J.J. Matajevic. Now the one and one pitch. in the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three and a swing and a miss on the fastball and there's the first out here in the ninth now batter. so striding in thing. Colton Shaver Colton. he's got a hit in three at bats to this point Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Two-two pitch is fouled away. in a good battle here comes another one and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat lofted in the air out toward right center Colway is under it and he makes the catch for out number three Blake Taylor, a six a foot two inch three. left hander, jogs now in to take over three. on the hill. Number 62. Blake. Stepping in, Esteban Quiros. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Here's the 2 1. Oh. 
Still even at two and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Another full count pitch home. This is pulled into right. De La Cruz is there and he makes the catch for the out. At the plate, now Hudson Potts. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. There's ball four. In now, Taylor Colway. He's working on a one for three thus far. Taylor Colway. Now the one and one pitch. Ball two. Ball inside. Taylor has logged upwards of 75 innings pitched and has an ERA just under four. A respectable number that he'd like to improve upon in this one. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Ralph Garza comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Colin Moore will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. The 2-1. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. The second base. At the plate now, Devon Castillo. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Payoff pitch home. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. That's lifted the other way out to left. Jokes has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he is out at the plate. Trying to get a little too greedy when he didn't need to be, and this ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Tonight's game comes to an end. 5-1 to one, the final score. The Corpus Christi Hooks hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Gabriel Valdez gets the win in relief his second of the year. Ryan Weathers worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious hook. Five runs, ten hits, no error. They left 12 men on base. For the home.